Hello and welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, a beer from Shep and Neen. Um, they kindly sent this to me about a week ago and I just thought, right, I'm going to get this out of the way because it's fairly fresh, direct from the brewery. So thank you very much for the guys there to send it, for sending this to me. It's really appreciated. I've been blown away by a few of the beers you sent me. It's, don't expect it. It's really kind of you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this is Shep and Neen's 2016 edition of their Christmas Ale. It's a winter ale. Um, it's what I've found out. It's seven percent ABV, um, 500 ml bottle. There's their bottle cap. I'll crack this open and try and nice hiss. Very nice hiss. Bit of smoke. Go through a bit about the beer. Um, it's brewed with pale and crystal malts, and then it's for the the bittering hops in this are Target and Challenger, and the aroma hops are Goldings. So it's a one finger, just off white, slightly lemony coloured head, very clear at this stage. Lots of carbonation, as you can see. Kind of a, a dark golden colour, almost to the mahogany colour. Lovely looking beer. Let's get an aroma then. Mm. A lovely kind of spiciness to it. It's more the aroma hops are coming through very well, the Target and Challenger, as opposed to what I would normally pick up straight away from a Shepanin beer and their, their brewer's yeast. There's some darker fruits in there, like some maybe some figs, raisins, that sort of thing. It was almost a slight kind of a perfumey edge. Lovely. Not, I don't think I've had this before. I may have done many, many years ago, but I've certainly never had it from a bottle. Let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. Mm. Nice spice edge. Reminds me of a, um, a fruit cake. Yeah, slight brown sugar, dark fruits, cherries, that slight sweetness. Mm. Let's pour the rest of this in. A nice winter ale indeed, warming. 7%, you're not really picking up on it, you know it's a slightly bigger beer by the malt build to the beer. Um, try and look at the, the, the uh, glass then, right. Where is it, right. A glowing amber winter ale with a, with a heady fruity nose. Crystallised winter fruits combined with a festive spicy hop on a platform of smooth, smooth warming alcoholic notes. It's coming through slightly, but I've had a lot more kind of boozier beers for the ABV, leaving a refreshing and cleansing, cleansing hop finish. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely got that spiciness going onto the beer. Um, fruity, slightly rich, which you know that you get that with the uh, Christmas cake, you know fruit cake I'd imagine I mean this is not long out of the fridge they might intensify a little bit as it warms up but it's still quite powerful already and that's fairly cold um, 7% 
So this is this year's edition, 2016. Uh, see if I can find a little date on it anywhere. They normally date their stuff on the on the actual uh, neck here, but there's a little bit of uh, it's sweating a little bit coming out of the fridge. Um, I've definitely seen it, so sometimes it's very hard to see. There we are. Yeah, best before. April of 2018 so mm. nice nice beer that cherry cherry kind of slight sweetness is definitely coming through um, as for a rating then I'm gonna give that I'll give that a seven and a half out of ten that's a seven and a half out of ten from me it's a really kind of I wouldn't say it's sessionable being seven percent, but you could probably have a couple of these, and you, you know you'd be quite happy um, after your Christmas dinner, or if it's before Christmas, uh, swaying back home uh, to get back to a, a nice warm fire if you're in a pub. Um, so yeah, seven and a half out of ten. It's about an eighty, about an eighty-six, eighty-seven out of a hundred for me. If you've had this beer before this year or any other years, let us know what you think. Lovely looking label. Please subscribe if you're new. Give us a thumbs up and cheers.